Okay. Want to make do another quick video here up, update I'm doing on my uh, Field and Stream Eagle Talon 12. Uh, if you watch my first video or anyone else's video on these things, um, you'll find out quickly. Or if you've ever sat on one, this seat that it comes with sucks. So I was trying to upgrade it, but I didn't want to spend a crap load of money. <coughs> um, what ended up coming up with was this one. It's made by CC Outdoor. Um, found it at Dick's. It's $35. They had another one for 30 bucks, but it didn't have the lumbar support and the pocket on the back didn't have a drawstring. And I don't know if it had a handle or not. Of course, we don't need that, but um, it's actually a canoe seat. Uh, you can see there, it's got these straps, these buckles on the bottom that uh, I guess they buckle onto a canoe uh, seat. So what I'm planning on doing is cutting these off because I'm not going to use them. Then I went to Walmart and I got in the camping section right after all the traditional camping stuff and usually right before the backpacks is where they put it in their mod um, they have a section it's usually like four to sixteen feet of gear replacement uh, dry bags that kind of stuff it's usually mostly all this outdoor products brand um, so I went there for $1.97 they had a six foot section of nylon this uh, strapping here and it came with one of these little dillies I don't know what you want to call them uh, help tension it down and it also had <coughs> a buckle so six feet buckle and uh, to pull it pull it tighter whatever they want to call that thing a oh, slider yeah so I got two of those the uh, then I went to hardware section in that same Walmart and I found these and uh, they're god was it I think they were like two dollars and 75 cents or something like that for two of them it's a pack of two so pretty cheap so for this project you need I'm guessing I'm gonna probably need one pack of these and two of these sections of the uh, nylon. So this will be about six seventy-five for the hardware. Thirty-five dollars for the seat. So I'm probably going to be looking at s somewhere in about forty-two dollars, roughly, uh, for the seat upgrade. But I think it's going to be well, well worth it, and much cheaper than going and buying something. Um, I'm planning on also, when I get it strapped in, put these fun noodles down, secure them onto there. Um, so I'll still be able to fold it down, and this will keep it from tearing up, scratching the bottom of my kayak there. Basically what I'm planning on doing, it's got these uh, rings on the back. I already kind of got these set up. I was planning on just feeding it through. Sewing that down if I can figure out how to use the sewing machine. Clipping it in. Then you're good. As far as to keep it from sliding forward, I was going to use a new section that I cut off. <coughs> Loop it around. I'm going to show you this when I install it all, but just a preview. You can get it in there, you know, and use the clip right there. So I don't have to buy any extra pieces. So let me see if I can figure out this sewing machine, and uh, we'll come back with hopefully a finished product. So uh, here it is. Uh, went ahead and sewed loop on here. Hope you can see that. Uh, don't laugh at my sewing. That's the first time I tried using a sewing machine, and I managed to break it. 
so I had to do the rest of it by hand. But pretty much what I did, I sewed a loop right there. Uh, here's the back straps here to keep it, they're not tightened down, but you can see they just loop around and go through the anchor here. And it's just a simple clip. So you can take it in and out. That's what's on both sides. Um, fun noodle, zip tied in. Hopefully I don't have to move these zip ties so they don't dig in my side and stuff, but if so I'll deal with that when it happens. But yeah, just to keep uh keep these parts from digging into the kayak, scratching it up and whatnot. I got this other support. Clip it on. Still needs to be tightened up, but get the gist of it. That's the new upgraded upgraded C, uh, GCI outdoor uh, seat. And, uh, hopefully, it'll be a lot more comfortable. I, I don't see how it wouldn't, because this seat itself is at least three times as thick as the other one. So. I said it's about a $42 project, but I think it'll be well worth it. Also, one thing, I'll be able to probably get rid of this, because I don't use everything in it anyway. I'm getting one, one box. Stick it in there. Good to go. Have my bowl so I can just grab it. Take it back, good. So this thing, this whole deal here can go away. Although it worked well, it's just severely overkill for me because I don't use all this stuff.